Hi guys! About five years ago I made a Boston Back Brace for Scoliosis video talking about what it was like adjusting to a brace. Um, so this video I'm going to talk about how life changed with the brace, um, things that changed after I was done with the brace. I don't know if this video is going to be helpful or not, but hopefully some of it is. Um, a lot of it is just very specific to my story and very specific to my bracing experience. You clicked on the link. I don't know why you clicked on it, but I hope something here is helpful. <laughs> I do want to say though, if you are watching this video and you're getting a brace or you're currently going through bracing, well, I know that some days suck, but you are going to get through it. You really are. It's not forever. You're a lot stronger than you think you are. Quick recap for anyone who maybe is watching this video and doesn't know anything about scoliosis. So anything under 10 degrees is just considered spinal asymmetry. It's not scoliosis. Anything over 10 degrees is scoliosis, and every, anything over 20 degrees is usually when you start getting treatment for it. It's not super rare, but it's also not super common. What I have is called idiopathic scoliosis, which is the most common form of scoliosis. Uh, it means that there's no known cause of why your spine has decided to go sideways. It just went sideways. But I used to call it idiotic scoliosis instead of idiopathic. When I first got diagnosed with scoliosis, I had a 17 degree curve in my lumbar spine, which is the lower part of your back. And then I had a 12 degree curve in my thoracic spine, uh, so I had an S-shaped curve uh, because my body had tried to compensate for the curve. So now I had two curves in my back, which is actually pretty common with scoliosis. Um, and then by the time I actually got the brace, I had a 27 degree, degree curve in my lower spine. So I had a thoracolumbar sacral orthosis, also called a Boston back brace for scoliosis. Just if anyone doesn't know about uh, braces, I don't know if you can see how thick this thing is, but... Like, I used to be able to run into corners of walls, not feel a thing, so that was great. <laughs> so I remember when I got the brace, I asked them what this part was for, and they told me this was for my rib cage because the brace uh, shoves my particular spine, it shoved it that way. Uh, so your whole rib cage moved, and this was so that your rib had somewhere to go. Isn't that lovely? So some ways that life changed with the brace. Um, Sleeping habits. I love sleeping on my side, uh, but sleeping on your side in this thing is not that comfortable because you have a, like, that digs into your side. Eating also changed because, um, I mean, this thing does not move. You can, you know, eat like a big dinner because your stomach would try to expand, and you can't. I couldn't tie my shoes the same way because I'm not sure you're going to be able to see. Can I even put this on? It's on. Jeez! Hard plastic, you can't bend down the same way that you did before. God. Okay. I'm a bit too big for this brace now. I had to bend down uh, to tie my shoes differently. Uh, that was different. It wasn't difficult. You just had to figure out how to get yourself down to the floor. Besides eating, sleeping, and clothes, um, I was very lucky in many, many ways with my bracing. Um, I mean, first of all, they caught it soon enough. I was also very lucky because I was treated at Boston Children's Hospital, which is one of the top hospitals. I was very, very lucky. Looking back, I mean, not really anything changed for me. I, I already had my group of friends, so no one really thought anything of it. Um, and I never got any crap for it. No one ever made fun of me for it. I just want to say, if anyone is making fun of you for your brace, f don't hang out with them. Find someone else to hang out with. If someone's making fun of you for a medical condition, like, the problem isn't you, the problem is them. Yeah, just stick with people who stick with you. And if for some reason you're in between friend groups, um, do activities that you like. So staying engaged, I think, is really helpful just because it makes people understand that, like, the brace is not your identity. It's just something that you have to wear. So after the brace, um, when I got the brace off, I was 16 years old. Things that have changed is my rib cage has shifted that way. One of my ribs is, like, higher than the other. Um, but right here, I can feel my rib. So your ribs aren't supposed to be here, they're supposed to be a bit lower. So that changed. Um, my back cracks a lot. One shoulder is higher than the other, this one's higher. Again, it's not something that you can really tell unless like you're sitting right behind me and you stare for a while, then you could probably tell. And one leg is longer than the other. This leg is longer than this one. Ow! Oh, I pulled my hip. It's not a huge length difference, but it's there. So I'm hoping that doesn't cause me any problems later on in life. So the biggest change after the brace for me was body image. Um, I mean, I got the brace when I was 13 years old. And when I was 13, um, the clothing styles that were in were Aerocombie and Fitch and Aeropostale um, and American Eagle. So it was all like tight, tight, tight clothing. It was like, how thin can you be? And I didn't feel that I could wear those tight, thin clothes with the brace, just because I didn't want people knowing that I had a brace. 
it's just hard when you're 13 years old because everyone's already self-conscious about their body and then for me it was like here add two and a half pounds of plastic to that and I didn't really internalize that when I was 13 I didn't really notice I didn't care I mean all I cared about was like playing sports so as long as I could like play my sports I really didn't care what I looked like I did not have good fashion sense when I was 13 let's just put it that way but when I got the brace off I was 16 years old it was just like a shock your body changes a lot in those three years so it was literally like I put on the brace as a 13 year old and when the brace came off I had a whole different body I mean I had a chest uh, I had hips I was taller and I just like did not know I did not know what to do Everyone else has those awkward teenage years to like figure out what's your style and what clothes look good on you and what fits your body well and I, I didn't because when I was wearing the brace I was wearing loose clothes to hide it and when I was out of the brace I was playing sports so I was just in my uniform or whatever. So suddenly I was 16 years old and I had a totally different body than what I was used to. Um, I struggled with my body image for years. <laughs> um, no, I didn't hate my body or anything like I recognized that I was in shape. I knew I was considered thin. It's just I always felt like I didn't look like other girls. Like I'd see one of them wearing like a cute top and some cute jeans and so I'd try it on and I'd be like this doesn't look right, like it's it's weird, it fits strange because I just wasn't used to clothing hugging my skin. Um, I just wasn't used to the way that I looked. I used to hate shopping. My sisters would go shopping and I would just get frustrated because I always felt defeated. I always felt like clothes weren't going to fit. I, I just always thought clothing looked weird on me and it, it didn't. That's the thing. I can see that clearly now but my shoulders are tilted and my hips are a little tilted but it's nothing that other people would notice. People are their harshest critics so obviously I was going to see flaws in my body that other people would just not even notice. So that was the biggest adjustment after the brace was getting used to my body. I'm a lot more comfortable in my body now. Um, I'm 24 years old, so that's a good thing. And there were three things that helped me get to a place where I was um, comfortable with my body, and one was sports. Um, these sports were just a really great reminder to me that no matter the curve in my spine, um, I'm still a capable human being. Another thing that really helped me kind of get on board with the fact that like, this is my body and it doesn't look weird. <laughs> so I started working out um, to try and stop the back spasms and it worked. I liked working out. I do like high intensity interval training and like TRX fusion classes. They're just really fun and you feel good about yourself and for me working out isn't about losing weight or anything like that. It's just about the fact that I feel good. One of the best decisions of my entire life was to join a dance team uh, when I was in college and they do multicultural dances so we did dances um, that were Trinidadian, African, classical Indian, Bhangra. Uh, we did hip-hop and contemporary and salsa. There's something about dance that just makes you feel so powerful um, in a way that sports don't. Like, and I think that's when I really started to change the way that I looked at myself. Um, I joined that group at a really difficult time in my life. I can't even put into words how much that group changed my life. Not just for body image. Now I'm gonna cry. I don't know why. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh my god, they're just the best. Dance was definitely like the biggest turning point um, that I remember looking back. I just remember feeling different. I don't know, you just kind of feel invincible when you dance. I'm, I'm happy with my body now. I'm, I accept that I have curves places other people don't. Um, I don't know, I, like, I don't really think about my brace and I don't really think about my scoliosis that much. Um, my biggest annoyance about scoliosis is that it made me shorter. 27 degrees. I would have been like three inches taller, then I'd be 5'8", and I played volleyball. I played outside hitter. I was able to play that position at my height because I was able to jump high. Oh, but if I'd been three inches taller, oh, oh my god, my hits would have been so much more powerful. Oh, it drives me crazy. You know, I made the team, I got to play every single game, so, you know, there's no reason to complain, but like, if you're an athlete, you get it. You're always like, I could have been better. Oh, but I mean, in the long run, that's not that big of a deal. Oh, my back hurts from putting on the brace. Ugh. That's really all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, so I hope some of this was helpful. If you currently have a brace, or if you're getting a brace, or if you're having surgery, um, I wish you a lot of luck. Okay, well, bye. Oh, it says something on it. What does this say? Oh my god, they branded the brace, and it says Original Boston Brace. As if someone's, like, gonna copy it. This was made at the hospital.